Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic will be on the C-axis wrap. So the C-axis wrap is actually uh, the wrapping of the geometry around whatever your rotary axis is you select, uh, and you'll be able to do four-axis programs. So uh, let's take a look at this. So obviously this part has a couple of wrap geometry pockets on it. I'm just going to add a pocketing operation, but the C-axis wrap actually works for profile, 2D eye machining, as well as pocket. So just go to pocket. We're rotating around the x-axis, and that's important because when we get to our geometry selection screen, I'm actually going to tell it to wrap the geometry around whatever axis, in this case, the x-axis. So I'll choose my solid edge right there. And in a regular pocketing operation, at this point, I would click on auto constant z. There's no constant z here, uh, so what I'm going to do is use the actual um, tangency of that curve, or in this case, curve propagation. So in SolidCAM 2015, it's called curve propagation. In SolidCAM 2016, it's actually called tangent propagation, but they work the same way. As long as it can find the tangency of that curve, we can choose our wrapped geometry. The rest of this programs exactly the same way as you were doing a regular pocket. I just choose my tool, choose my levels. In this case, the levels. I'm just going to choose a point on the OD that represents, uh, along the z-axis, how high I'd like to start this uh, this toolpath. In this case, approximately the the, the radius of the uh, of the OD pocket depth. Same sort of thing. I'm just going to choose something that represents that ID right there. Uh, I want to break through the bottom, so I'm just going to add 50 thou. And the rest of this program is exactly the same as if you were doing a uh, just a standard pocketing operation. If we take a look at that toolpath. You can see right there that it actually wraps around the geometry. So I just dictated it using that geometry on the top there, but it actually is following the curvature right there. So the tool actually will will move in the um, in the c-axis. If I just do a quick simulation on that, see the tool comes down and it just moves side to side. Or in reality, your actually your rotary would move um, move around. Now that's if you have the geometry already set up. Now, what if you only had a profile, or just a flat profile? You knew you just needed to add a pocket, and uh, and you knew your diameter of your uh, of your cylindrical billet here, but you don't actually have this modeled in. Well, you can do the exact same thing. I'm just going to open this back up, do a save and copy. In this case, we're going to go with the secondary axis there. So my z axis is pointing up there again. Z axis is always your tool axis. New geometry. I'm going to leave it as flat. Click on that edge right there. In this case, I can do an auto constant Z because I'm just doing it on a piece of flat geometry. Okay, and tool is the same because I did the save and copy. The only thing that's different here is under motion control, because we're engaging the fourth axis here, uh, I need to tell it that somewhere along the line of, of the programming. So I click on fourth axis. Um, it automatically already found the diameter that I'm at, um, but if not, um, you can always type it in there. That's why it's, it prompts up. This is a, uh, a diameter around the x-axis. So if I click on Save and Calculate, and let's take a look at that as well. Actually, I forgot my levels. So that right there. And again, somewhere in there. Okay, so if we take a look at the cross-section of that. Again, it wraps it around. So by telling it the diameter that this profile should take, it actually is projecting it in uh, towards the center of the part, and we're getting that wrap geometry as well. So again, that works on profile, pocket, and 2D I machining. Uh, if you got any other questions, you can call us at the main text board line anytime at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. Uh, or you can watch the rest of the videos on the SolidCam University channel. Thanks for watching.